After Roman Emperor Diocletian abdicated the throne in 305 AD, Galerius became emperor. Constantinus campaigned in Britain and Gaul, and after his father's death in 306, the troops there proclaimed him Augustus, ruler of Britain, Gaul, and Spain. Galerius reluctantly accepted the proclamation, but proclaimed Constantine as Caesar rather than Augustus. In October 306, Constantine's brother-in-law, Maxentius, took the title of emperor for himself in Italy a few months later, and Galerius put up no resistance. Constantine focused on matters in Britain and Gaul and ignored Italy. Years of intrigue between the two men followed with the death of Galerius in 311 resulting in a turning point. Maxentius wanted to rid himself of Constantine, but Constantine made the first military moves against him and marched on Italy from the west. Constantine was supported by much of the populace and he won major battles at Turin and Verona and marched on to Rome. Maxentius's army met Constantine's at the Milvian Bridge on October 28, 312. The bridge was part of the route of the Via Flaminia over the Tiber River into Rome. The forces were possibly equal in size, about 100,000 to each side, but the historical record is not definitive on this point. One history states that Maxentius drew his army up to the Tiber banks and had the bridge cut with a temporary bridge of boats made for retreat if necessary. Constantine's cavalry charged and pushed Maxentius' cavalry back. Then Constantine's infantry pushed Maxentius' infantry back onto the bridge of boats. The battle was brief. Maxentius and thousands of his troops drowned and Constantine was victorious. The next day, October 29th, Constantine paraded his victorious army through Rome with jubilant crowds supporting him. Maxentius' head was also paraded through the city. Though not originally Christian, Constantine attributed his victory to the Christian God and so converted to Christianity.